It's dead easy when you do it on yeah, your it's own. It's really easy when you do yeah. it on your own. <laughs> the mirror's a great response. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you are the sunshine in my, in my everyday. You show me the power of hope and aspiration that nothing is too hard or too improbable or too much. From every, every angle, within every part of your heart and soul, you are, you are glorious and I, and I love you very much. Um, it is the greatest privilege for me to be here standing opposite you today, looking at you and saying these words. And it is my vow to be, uh, to be your, your lover and your friend, to be with you and support you and encourage you and to be your, your chief back scratcher. <laughs> your expert omelette maker for, for forever. And I, I just wish to be nothing less than you would ever wish for. I love you. Simon. I wasn't expecting to walk into a pub in Redbourne and my life so spectacularly change. But change it you have. With you, I feel so completely loved. You challenge, support and tidy up after me, um, making me laugh along the way and I can't imagine any other life I would rather be living. Today, I feel so grateful that we get to stand here and say out loud our commitments to each other in front of all of our family and friends. Saying I do means saying I will, today, tomorrow and for the rest of my life. First off, my god, you're hard work sometimes. <laughs> but it's. Yes, I did. <laughs> I said sometimes, didn't I? But we are, we are I, I think we are genuinely a, a, a perfect match. And, you know, yes, sometimes it's a challenge, but it's just absolutely worth it. And I wouldn't want to be anywhere else with anyone else. You know, it's, it's fantastic. So, so my. Second and final toast is just to, to Karen, the most beautiful bride there ever was. <laughs> Karen, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. For today and tomorrow. For today and tomorrow. And for all days to come. And for all days to come. Where it is a sign. Where it is a sign. Of the vows we have made this day. Of the vows that we have made this day. Push, right <laughs> push. push. <laughs> Simon, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. For today and tomorrow. For today and tomorrow. And for all days to come. And for all days to come. Where it is a sign. Where it is a sign. Of the vows we have made this day. Of the vows that we have made this day. And it leads me on to this guy here. My husband. <laughs> oh, it's quite nice to say that. Um, on the Hindu, um, all the ladies it really felt like they got to know you a lot better after your Mr and Mrs um, video and they also wondered how we ever have a conversation because we both never shut up. But I think that they all agreed that we're a really good match and we know each other very well. In the last eight months we've moved to Kendall, uh, we've literally looked in with everything that we've done there, like we are just having the best time ever. And I just can't wait to see what other adventures are around the corner for us, where we're going to go, we don't know what's going to happen, but we will be doing it together. So, let's go Team Tom! <laughs> Thank you.
Well, I'd just like to move on and tell you a little story about Karen when she was when she was very, very young. And um, she was probably about four or five years old. And she always used to like me to read her a bedtime story on a night. And one of her favourite stories was Snow White. And um, apart from the little bit in the middle of the story, where I used to stop and sing a, a little song, a little excerpt of the, the song from the from the film, and it was the bit where Snow White sings to the seven dwarfs, and it goes something like this. <laughs> Someday my prince will come. Dad, just read the words. Dad. <laughs> Well, you just read the words. Simon didn't read the script or the story, though, because when he turned up, not on a white stallion, but a blue, white, and duct tape coloured <laughs> Suzuki 5000. <laughs> well, Simon, you're a prince all the same, mate. You're a prince. Simon is the only person I know who, instead of putting quality carpets in his house, put cheap carpet on top of cheap carpet to stop the cheap carpet wearing out. <laughs> He's also the only person I knew who didn't bother putting up curtains or blinds in his house so that the street light outside can provide illumination. Happy wife, happy life. And what I've always wondered, well, especially when I was writing this speech this week, is there a male version? Now, in my house, if there was a male version, it would be Happy husband, what's he been up to? <laughs> or it would be Happy husband, we'll see about that. <laughs> and it is true. I remember when Simon and Karen first got together. Simon had told me he'd met this wonderful and beautiful lady. They'd been chatting, had been on a few dates. The things he said, the way that he said them, I could see that he was truly smitten. And I knew that Karen was going to be his one. Especially he's made a point of deleting Tinder, Bumble and Grinder from his phone. <laughs> Karen has been such a positive influence on Simon. He's a bit calmer than he was. He's a little bit more relaxed about things, and it's clear that she's positively rubbed off on his personal style and fashion choices. <laughs> Although I am still surprised he didn't choose denim for the suits. <laughs> I have high hopes for Simon and Karen, and I really do wish them all the very best, and may they enjoy many, many happy years to come. Can I ask you all now, if you're able, to stand and join me in raising a to Simon and Karen. <laughs> <laughs>